heard that, eh? Yeah, that's cool. What inspires a man who inspires so many millions of people? And it's, it's his daughter. How are ya? Nah, thank you. Right. How you going, mate? Hey, nice to meet you, Reg, for sure. Hello, Hello darling. You. How are ya? How you going, bud? Good to see ya. Done a great job, eh? Yeah, sorry I couldn't get earlier. I was just been flat out, eh? Did you realise it was this big? No, nah, I've seen pictures, but then when you come in, you're like, wow. So yeah. it takes you away a little bit, eh? I've never really been painted before, so. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking it on board, especially when I literally said I've got two days to yeah, paint them. Nah. It's... <laughs> it was good when we sat there at Redfern and just had a good talk and yeah, and went from there and then, yeah, blown away how quick you got it done. And, that's a credit to yourself and, and what you, your passion lies. I'm very proud of this one. As Wilbur decided that he wanted me to paint one of his heroes of rugby league. I couldn't wait to meet him if, when I did meet him, um, which, yeah, really, really excited. And I feel like as an Archibald artist, it's my duty to go and meet um, influential people and give the viewer that experience of meeting them in the person, so um, it's a real privilege to be an artist. Kind of wanted to show the physicality and the strength, but also when you're talking about your family and your commitment to country and to your ancestors and also to being a farmer yeah. and all of that, I was just really wanted to show that side of meeting you. I mean, it kind of sounds corny, but he actually inspired me to go above and beyond what I usually do. So it's very humbling, honestly. It's, um, it's sort of hard to explain, really. It's um, you know you've got Archie Roach up there, one of our you know the greatest leaders, and uh, that's very special to me to be able to be up on this you know sort of an art gallery wall and and be amongst you know such great leaders that I've looked up to, but also you know be there and, and keep holding the torch and continue to be proud. And uh, yeah, it's very special, especially a kid from Tari. I never thought I'd be here sitting doing what I'm doing and uh, being able to achieve a lot of things and great things as well. Latrell definitely has that X factor. For me, I find that really interesting about athletes is where does the X factor come from and seem to find that there's a, a deep sense of faith and a connection to their spiritual origins, whatever they are in a lot of the athletes. I wanted to portray that in Latrell as sort of who, what inspires a man who inspires so many millions of people? And it's, it's his daughter. That's the outlet. I've had a, like, a great opportunity to be able to, you know, obviously play rugby league and, and achieve something that I've always wanted to achieve, but also hold on to this as well, you know, yeah. my, where I'm from and never forget that. And that's something that sort of you know, kept me sort of grounded and I hope it just sends a great message to kids to be able to chase their dreams and, and that's all I want. I'm definitely living an experience or living proof of, you know, someone that's been through hardship, um, continues to go through it and but come out the other side and show your resilience and that's definitely instilled but yeah, I just want kids to understand that, you know, there's two parts of your life and you, know, you live one with the other and you know, they both can feed off each other and. It's just about staying grounded in what you're connected to. And I sat there this morning, to be honest, actually, and just thought to myself, you know, sitting in my house and never thought I'd own a house, you know, and, but definitely I would I never thought I'd be hanging up on a, an art gallery wall and, you know, such a special place also. So you just put it into perspective on, on life and, yeah, I can definitely say I've, I've done this and hope I've definitely motivated and, and inspired someone. And um, I've definitely obviously inspired little Wilbur and, and, you know, and Zoe's been able to bring that to life, so it's, yeah, it's really enjoyable to watch.